Hi there. Ramu, wake up, wake up. Who was that? Who was that? Who are you? I'm your inner soul. Have you completed your exam preparation? Um, it's going on, but it's not yet complete. You have only two days for exams. Get started. But the portion is so much, I'm not able to complete. I have a trick. Study for your exams from Concept Candy, the best place for your studies. Really? I'll check it out. If you people are also like me, go check out Concept Candy. It's really, really nice. Bye guys, I'm going to study. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to start off with 6th class NCRT textbook, 3rd chapter of Science. So, today we are going to study about the thing which surrounds us every day. Yeah, you got it right. It's fabrics or clothes. So, here Pahili and Bojo won the first prize in a science quiz competition held at their school. So, they, uh, the money which they got as their prize, they decided to buy some clothes for it. When they went to the shop, they found many, many types of clothes, many variations in the clothes. So, today we are going to study about the varieties of clothes. Now, what is a fiber? Take out a yarn from a piece of cloth or fabric or cotton fabric mainly. Place this piece of yarn on a table. Now press one end of the yarn with your thumb. Scratch the other end of the yarn along the length of your nail. The yarn will split into strands. What's the strands? It is none other than fibers. Okay. The thin strands of threads we see are made or are called the fibers. When we get together many fibers it becomes yarn and when we get many yarns together it becomes fabric okay we have two types of fibers the first one is natural fibers the natural fibers are the fibers which we get from nature like plants and animals like cotton jute silk wool etc now there are artificial fibers too like rayon and acrylic etc now they are called artificial fibers or synthetic fibers how are they made they are chemically made for example polyester nylon and acrylic and also rayon now now we'll be studying about some plant fibers the first one is cotton have you ever seen make wicks out for oil lamps they are made up of cotton what is cotton it's a type of fiber take some cotton wool put it apart and look at its edges the small thin strands that you see are cotton fibers okay from where do we get the cotton from the cotton plant or spe specifically from cotton balls now this is how the cotton balls look like when they are perfectly ripe from these balls cotton is usually picked up by hand fibers are then separated from the seeds by combining combing combing this process is called ginning okay what's the process when um, the cotton cloth or the fiber is separated from the seed it's called ginning Ginning is traditionally done by hand. These days, it's also done with machines. Now, the next natural fiber is jute. Jute fiber is obtained from the stem of the jute plant. This is how the jute plant looks like. Okay. Now, in India, jute is mainly grown in West Bengal, Bihar and Assam. It's normally harvested in the flowering stage. When the plant reaches the flowering stage, the jute is harvested and the stem uh, rot the stems are what they do how we obtain jute is 
the jute stems are submerged or simmered in water for few days then when the stems rot the fibers are separated with hand okay now spinning cotton yarn how do we spin cotton yarn this is the tool which we use for spinning the cotton yarn it's called a takli okay now we are uh, other instruments are charka okay which uh, mahatma gandhi was using in the independence movement okay now the clothes which are which are cotton uh, which are made up of cotton and are home spun it is called as khadi okay how the yarn becomes a fabric now we will be seeing it the first step is weaving the process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric is called a is called weaving when we keep two yarns together or many yarns together like this it becomes a cloth or fabric this process is called weaving in the similar manner two sets of yarns are woven to make a fabric the yarns are much thinner than our paper strips as we have done in this activity okay as the yarn is really really thin weaving of fabric is done in looms okay this is a hand loom second step is or second process is knitting in knitting a single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric like our great great grandmothers used to do this right now too they do have you ever pulled the yarn from torn pair of socks yeah many of us do that right knitting is done in home in by the hand and in some workshops on machines okay now weaving and knitting are used for making different kinds of fabrics for different kinds of fabrics different steps is used history of clothing material after people began to settle in agricultural communities they learned to weave twigs and grass into mats and baskets vines animal fleece and hair were twisted together into long strands these were woven into fabrics the early indians wore fabrics made up of cotton that grew in regions near the river ganga flax is also a plant that gives natural fibers in ancient egypt cotton as well as flax were cultivated near the river nile what all plants were cultivated near river nile they were cotton flax these both are fiber giving plants in those days stitching was not known people simply draped the fabrics around different parts of their body many different ways of draping fabrics were used with the invention sewing needle with the invention of sewing needle people started stitching their fabrics into cloths stitched cloths have gone through many variations since the invention but it is not amazing that even today sari dhoti lungi or turban as is used as an unstitched piece or fabric right now this is a simple step or simple process by which cotton cotton rolls um to make cotton fabric from cotton rolls ginning process is done which becomes fiber from fiber spinning process is done and it becomes a yarn fabric can be obtained with either knitting or either knitting or weaving right with this we complete our lesson about fibers and fabrics if you have some doubts please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video thank you have a nice day